what Scott Fawning's attack is going to do behind him. The minute it was Aru still working, we can burn off another domestic. We might have a scenario where lots of Evans can get involved as well. Uran maybe. Stealthily waiting in the bunch today. Roberto Uran. And this is going to be Kelderman. He's caught veining. Two Dutchmen. They're not working together. time 2.2 kilometers to go up ahead to say that Visconti and Movistar they can't celebrate yet but they're getting closer now who would have thought this with 20 kilometers to go a lot of it is a product of the fact there's been no GC movement behind them. you've got to be in it to win it Visconti has bought a lottery ticket and his numbers might be about to come up Rabotini not looking like a threat anymore, you have to say. He's been failing. Elderman, in the meantime, is looking okay. A big ask, however, and Sanchez can't hold the wheel of Caruso and Duarte. Puma being dropped out the back. Aru and his job might just be done. What a fade. It's Tanga who takes over. Aru using all that energy to catch Carponi there. In the meantime, you just saw Sanchez being reeled in. A hint of a little bit of action behind then, and it was Carponi's attack that started it. Visconti has to settle into his rhythm, has to keep going. It's the only way now. 1,800 metres to go for him. And Kelderman, well, they have him in sight. Just look at the change in the rhythm of that punch. It really has started to thin out a bit more now. And it's Vincenzo Nibali to go. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Would Nibali have a dig? Would he try and extend his lead? He's waiting until the very last. He's used his teammates up. They've deterred the attacks and Vincenzo Nibali going away. Carponi already had a dig, so Nimit, who swallowed him. Carponi just waiting on the group behind. Metancourt is there. Michael following and in the red and black figure of Cadell Evans. 300 metres difference on the road between Rabotini and Visconti. And Visconti. Not quite in big danger yet, but it is not safe. He is not home, he's certainly not dry. All depends on how long they look around here. There's a minute and a half between Visconti and this group. One point four kilometers to go. The way it's going, the way it's looking behind, it certainly looks like now Visconti as Nibali just peels off, has a look around. Will be able to bring this one home. And Mike are on the right hand side. Out for Evans as well. It's leader versus leader versus leader. But in the meantime, up the road, there is an opportunity, an open goal for Visconti to put it away. And again, as we saw at the bottom of the last climb, anywhere Micah goes, Betancourt goes, but this time Nibali wants to follow. That draws Evans out. He's got Corny as well. Now Kelderman is caught. Over a kilometre to go. Yeah, coming down to around a minute now. There's just one kilometre to go. There's 400 metres between them on the road. Surely now this is a last kilometre of a procession for the victory of Giovanni Visconti. Just has to hold on, just has to keep his rhythm. He's been exceptional all day. And even though they've started to fight behind, 
a minute, it's not enough. 350 meters between them on the road still. Another attack though. Last kilometer for this group. And it's Fabio Duarte again. Oh, 34 minutes down. He's not going to be a big worry, really, of Vincenzo Nibali and company. Martini still up there. But Duarte now is the second man on the road. Fabio Porti's Team Colombia. Well, that's Caruso. Evans. Lots of little moves immediately brought back. Now Betancourt goes. Everybody having a go. Remember the fight for seconds is all over the place. And of course Betancourt means that Micah has to follow him. Just seven seconds between them on the road, remember. Seven seconds in the GC. Betancourt can pick up bonus seconds. He has a chance of taking the white jersey at the end of today. Conti as well, there's points to be had in the King of the Mountains competition. But for him, it's all about the stage win. Oh, the big GC favourites, not too worried about those in 8th and 9th right now. They're fighting the white jersey between them. 300 metres still holding well on the road for Visconti. He's got around about a minute still you can almost say he's safe and dry chance to have a drink and in the car they might just be started to celebrate 350 meters for giovanni visconti he was born just over the border in piemonte but he's a sicilian and giovanni visconti as another sicilian leads the race looks as though he's going to take the stage He's waited a long, long time for this. Second group on the road for Duarte, Betancourt, two Colombians, and Micah the Pole. Well, they might not be going to the top today, but Visconti will be glad of that fact. For an Italian, there is nothing more special than winning a mountain stage of a Giro d'Italia. Just a couple of years after he had one taken off him on the finish line, Giovanni Visconti is going to do it from a breakaway. The Giro has never finished on the Galibier before. Today it finishes just across from the statue to the great Marco Pantani. And Giovanni Visconti is going to become the first ever rider to win a stage at the Giro d'Italia up the Galibier. It's been a long time coming. He turned 30 this year. Giovanni Visconti has come of age. What a performance, all on his own. And it's a brilliant day for the man from Movistar. In the meantime, no big gaps here. No big gaps at all. Etancourt and Biker trying to steal a march on each other. It's Niemitz who's with them. And Duarte as well. And they'll sprint for the time bonuses. In the meantime, Visconti exhausted. It's a big one for Michael and Betancourt, remember. If Betancourt can get the bonus seconds, he'll be very, very close. And he's just a second behind now in the search for the white jersey. Nibali hoping to hold the jersey, hold it well. A big day for Visconti. Nibali keeps the line in order. This was the order in which the top 10 finished on the day. Visconti in the end, 42 seconds ahead of a trio of general classification riders. They were led in by Betancourt from Niemiec and Maika. Duarte came home in sixth, while Scarponi would finish at 54 seconds, just ahead of Nibali, Evans and Uran.